This is an ultrasound study of a female pelvis patient with a history of oligomenorrhea for the last 2-3 months and uh, dysmenorrhea as well. She is a married female, has 4 kids, no history of surgical intervention. Now we see that this is the longitudinal section of the uterus. Uh, this is the uterus, this area, and this is the longitudinal section of the uterus. This now this is the endometrial canal, it's in the mid-cycle and this is the anterior myometrium, the posterior myometrium, the fundal region, it's normal. There is seen an evenly echogenic area with small amount of fluid at its medial margin, sorry lateral margin, this is a lateral margin and uh, if you see that the cervix is dilated uh, to approximately 4 centimeters. Now the cervix is dilated by up to 4 centimeters. This is the anterior lip of the cervix and uh, this is the posterior lip of the cervix, this area. And uh, this is the cervical canal. So uh, we see collection within the cervical canal, which most probably this is the bleed. And, uh, <coughs> it is being confined uh, at its lateral margin by the vagina, this is the vagina, and uh, at its uh, medial and it is being uh, uh, confined by the uh, internal os. So between the internal os and the vagina we see collection of uh, fluid, uh, ecofil fluid uh, which is uh, possibly uh, nothing, it can be nothing but uh, a bleed, collection of bleed with small amount of fluid and this, this uh, bleed or collection is uh, elevating the anterior lip whereas depressing the posterior lip of the cervix. Okay, now let me show you this in uh, real, on real time, here you see now, this is the vagina, you see this is the urinary bladder, this is the vagina here, here. and this is the collection of uh, uh, fluid with echoes, you see echo fluid or a bleed, uh, elevating the anterior lip of cervix, this is the anterior lip of cervix, this is the posterior lip of the cervix. And uh, from here onwards, we see that the, that the uterus is normal, there is uh, no finding except Now, can it be a cervical fibroid? Will be a, a question, but if you link, as a look at the consistency of the uh, Ecogenic, uh, sorry, of this ecofield fluid. You can see this is small calcification giving posterior shadow within this fluid. So, this is in fact, uh, now this is the transfer section. Okay, let's see in the transfer section. We do see a small amount of fluid in the pelvic cavity. This is a small amount of fluid in the pelvic cavity. And, uh, this is the transfer section and this is the ovary, right ovary. This is the transfer section that of the body of the uterus and the fundus of the uterus. You can see that the endometrial canal is in uh, mid-cycle and there is, it is clear, central And when I move the group posteriorly, like now you will see that there is the same consistency and you can see small movement as well. You see this is the calcification giving sharp posterior shadow and uh, small amount of fluid is also seen in this, in transfer section. So this is the cervix. You can again see that the cervix is uh, containing collection 
and the anterior, this is the anterior rib of the cervix, the posterior rib of the cervix, and uh, you, uh, this is the collection. This area is the collection. This is the transfer section. This is the urinary bladder, all this. I have to give some pressure to get this, this view. And this is the transfer section of the cervix. This is cervix. This is the posterior rib of the cervix in transfer section. And this is the collection. Now this is in fact the uterus from a different angle. You can go of the uterus, this is all uterus. And this is the fluid that you can see in the pelvic cavity, small amount of fluid is seen. So this is a case of uh, collection in the uh, cervical canal that elevates the upper and posterior, uh, elevates the anterior leg of the cervix. Let's see a magnified view. Now in this magnified view I am able to get the, uh, you see this is the vagina, this is the internal os, there is fluid, clear fluid over here and this is all flexion, this is the anterior leg of the cervix, this is the urinary bladder and uh, internal os, it is and it measures approximately. So this is the body of the uterus. Fundus is being cut off in this view. This is the endometrial canal at the body of the, and this is the cervix collection. Vagina. So it is bonded laterally by the vagina and uh, medially by the os, internal os. Great thing to see in uh, married Paris female, but uh, as I saw, I grabbed the opportunity to make a video for you. This is the small amount of you seen in this region. And this is the magnified view of this uh, collection. And in the collection we do see some tiny, shiny ecogenic areas. Search the whole length of the uterus is, including the collection, 10.5 by 4.3, and it will be considered as within normal. So this is our case of the day. Thank you very much.